so I got new glasses! Does it look really strange and different? Because it does to me. Yeah, so as you guys would know, my usual style is like the black rimmed glasses, kind of thick black as well. Uh, so going to something that's a little bit more transparent and lighter colored and differently shaped, like round instead of square as well. Um, it's a big change for me. And um, what could prompt such a big change in terms of my glasses? Um, Honestly, they got me on the marketing because these are Kuromi themed glasses and I can show you I'm wearing my Kuromi shirt. I got this one from Japan, from um, like Hello Kitty Japan, you know, one of those Sanrio stores. I forget which one, but it's a pretty big one. Um, I'm wearing it over another shirt though because it's one of those prints where um, like you can feel the print through it and my boobs just don't want to deal with that today. Um, yeah, so my shirts, my merch is not like this. You can wear it without having anything underneath and it won't scratch your boobs. Anyway, um, slight tangent there. <laughs> yeah, but so Kudomi themed glasses, what does that mean? I'll give you a close up look at some of the details. Okay, so here's the glasses from the front, and you can see it's a sort of a, like a, a dark purple, or kind of looks like a dark grey, but there's a tinge of purple in there. Um, details on the front. Uh, I'm not sure about the overall shape, if that's inspired by Kuromi, but, you know, there's that kind of thing. Uh, I feel like I've seen it on other glasses. Whatever. No, the first really interesting thing is the little arrow there, sort of like um, the tail, I think. Um, then we come around to the arms, and if I can get that in focus, you can see the little characters along the side. And then as we come down to the bottom, it's more like her ears. Um, so yeah, some fun stuff. And it looks from the inside view. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's anything in here. There's like the logo. It's a bit hard to show if I can focus. There you go. Own days, Kuromi Sanrio. Yeah, sorry, it's a bit hard to focus when I'm just using the phone. I think the other side, did that have anything? Um, kind of just like the model number and all that. Yeah, so that's what they look like. Some pretty fun little details on it. So that's what the glasses look like. And also it comes with like its own little case with all the Kuromi themed kind of decorations. And then inside they've also given me um, yeah, one of these, one of the little glasses. What do you call them? My brain has just completely flopped on me. But yeah, you know, the little cloth to like clean your glasses. I should actually take the plastic off so I can use it. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. And um, Kuromi also like, I mean, I don't follow Sanrio enough to know if she's involved in any like TV shows or stories or whatever. Um, but I know that she's sort of like a dark character but kind of cute and yeah I guess that sort of fits where where I've ended up in my life um yeah there we go let's see without the plastic and now I can clean my glasses and make them all nice and yeah. Hey, future me butting in for a moment because I just realized I forgot to tell you more about the marketing. But so here you can see what the glasses looked like when I got them in the store um, before they put my lenses in. So you can see the tag there and then the um, little stickers. Uh, and then the next image, this is what I saw when I first walked into the shop. Like we were just going for eye tests and then I saw that and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have a look. First thing, right in my face. So yeah, they really did well with the marketing. We can go up closer and you can see um, this text Let's Kuromify girls who wear spectacles. So it's sort of that weird Japanese kind of cute but odd thing that they're doing there. You can read that if you like. Um, and then the last image is along the side where they're looking at the different models. So I've got a Kuromi model, the second model um, in that set. Um, yeah, so the, what is it, SR2001B. And the little text, she looks punk but is actually quite girly, exclamation mark, question mark. Spectacle frames modelled after Kuromi with motifs that draw reference from characters such as her jester hat and black devil tail featured across the frame body. Anyway, back to the main video. Um, okay, so talking about glasses, and <laughs> I do talk about glasses knowing that I may attract the wrong crowd and hopefully they'll be sensible enough to keep it to themselves, but uh, yeah, anyway, um, cheeky but charming, oh my gosh. Uh, so yeah, I've been going to this Japanese glasses maker place for a long time now, a few years, because um, I used to go to Specsavers, but um, I think because my nose is more Japanese, it just doesn't fit with a lot of their glasses, and I was having so much trouble finding anything I liked, so I switched to Own Days. Um, 
And then, yeah, <laughs> so I've actually found glasses I like there that fit my face. And then they have a collab with um, Sanrio to do Kuromi. And it's just like, yeah, that's how I changed. And mum is very happy. She did not like my thick black square man glasses. These are actually from Specsavers. They were actually from the men's section because that's the only thing I could find that I liked at the time. Um, yeah, so she's very pleased that I've changed. And uh, I'm still getting used to how I look. I don't entirely know how I feel about it, but because of the symbolism, I'm like, yeah, okay, I I'll do it. Um, but mum's probably the happiest out of this because, hey, she's the one who has to look at me most of the time. I don't look in mirrors that much and I only really have to look at myself when I'm editing video. Um, so, yeah, we can live with this, right? Um, now, hmm, what to talk about? I guess in terms of like the strength, so they're actually the same strength as my regular glasses. These are the glasses I wear around the house. They're not my full prescription. It's just I feel a lot more comfortable wearing them to look at like, you know, the computer screen or just stuff that I don't really need, you know, intense focus on. Um, yeah, so also like at work, bonsai, doing close-up bonsai work. I'll actually still wear these at bonsai, I think, because, you know, things get really dirty and I don't want to like muck up my nice, clean new glasses. Um, but yeah, so the same strength. And when I put them on in the shop straight away, I was like, I can wear these. I don't have to go through an adjustment period. So that was really nice. Um, but yeah, I did consider just getting new lenses in this one, but the optometrist was saying, you know, if they're more than three years old, there is a risk of the plastic cracking when they try and put in the new lenses. Um, and, you know, it's nice to have backup glasses. And also, I don't even remember how old these glasses are. I've had them so long. Like, you know, I've been going to own days for the past three or four years. So these are at least maybe five years old. I, I don't even remember. So yeah, they're pretty bad. And they were saying, um, you know, with these glasses, the, the reason I wanted to get new glasses in the same strength is because there's so many scratches um, on these. And so when I'm in my room with the lights off watching Dexter or whatever else on the computer, um, I constantly feel like there's some kind of a smudge and things don't look right. And so I try and clean it, but there are just scratches embedded in there and I'm tired of you know, feeling like I can't see properly. I mean, I could wear my stronger driving glasses, um, but I'm just in my room. It feels like overkill. So yeah. And then apart from the scratches, um, you know, they measured it and they also had a closer look and they can see some of the coatings are starting to come off and all that. So these are really old and tacky and yeah, it's time for a change. Um, but yeah, so I'll keep them as like bonsai glasses and you know, if I'm doing anything that's gonna muck things up. But otherwise, these are my full-time at-home glasses and just you know, chilling out glasses, glasses I don't need to super focus. Um, yeah, and so they were um, super dry and they just come in this shitty case, like it doesn't even close properly, it can fall out so easily. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of soft cases and this is a soft case, but at least it has a zipper and if I don't want to use it as a case, I can use it as like a pencil case or something because it is really cute and it even has like the nice little like it feels like it's got a bit of padding in there whereas this is quite thin like super dry you're pretending to be Japanese as well like come on um yeah anyway and yes I know that these glasses they're um made in China but it's like a Japanese brand and so yeah anyway anyway so um my other glasses will just give a summary I guess my stronger glasses their own day's brand I think um so I use these for driving and you can see it's the same sort of black rimmed, not as thick as the other ones and they fit my face better. Um, oh, and I guess it does have that sort of dent kind of thing. So yeah, similar, but not as round. They still have that more square shape. Um, and yeah, I use these for driving. They're my full prescription. I think my prescription hasn't really changed. Um, yeah, I think it's roughly the same, like maybe a few minor things have changed, but these are, you know, full strength for driving so I can see signs very clearly in the distance. Whereas with, particularly with these ones, because they're so scratched, it was getting harder to see, um, you know, like the numbers on the buses when I'm trying to catch the bus and so on. So sometimes I'd actually bring my driving glasses along so that I could see <laughs> more clearly. Whereas I didn't have as much trouble with these. I still take these around because I'm still getting used to what I can see with these now that they're clear instead of scratched. Um, but yeah, these ones I can see you know, the full strength. Um, and so, yeah, they're in a hard case as the own day's case. And I feel very secure taking glasses around in a hard case because yeah, they might bounce around in there a little bit, 
but um, I'm not gonna squash them in my bag or anything. So yeah, um, I did have one set of glasses that weren't as great from own days though. That's these ones you can see there. White is probably not a good choice of color because it got a little bit dodgy, but um, yeah, you can see the same sort of thing. I went through that black sort of rectangular shape. This one had white on the inside, which, um, or it's a sort of a light gray. They're air ones, so they're very light. Uh, yeah, white on the inside, black on the outside. There's me with the whole duality thing again because I can't help myself. It's just where my brain goes and, oh my God, recent events and I'm starting to get a little bit, um, anyway, I'll try not to feel that. Uh, yeah, the problem with these, so if you can see, oh, I probably should have turned this around. You can see how the wires, right? They go all the way up there. Whereas on my driving glasses, you know, you can't really see the wire. Like the wire is behind the nose pads. Um, you can see it goes above the nose pads. And the problem with these is those little wire bits would actually touch my skin. And so I was getting a bad reaction to them. So sad face, I can't wear these glasses. And yes, I realize that there are nose pads that are more like these plastic things, but because of the shape of my nose, they often don't feel right. I need ones that are adjustable just in case they don't fit right. And so I can go and adjust them. Now with these ones, I haven't had them adjusted. Sometimes I think that if things are sort of drooping on the left side, um, but I don't know if that's just like some kind of an illusion. Um, so I'm still monitoring, but like, you know, I can always go and get them adjusted. Whereas with those plastic ones that are set in a particular shape, you can't do that in the same sort of a way. Anyway, what to do with these glasses? Cause I've had them, they're not as strong as my driving glasses. Um, they were sort of, they were my driving glasses for a while and I was trying to wear them full time, but you know, with the whole like, well, things are too close. And then also the skin issue, I just, I stopped wearing them a long time ago. I've kept them as backup, but yeah, I don't know. What I'm thinking is I'll find, I'll see. I think there are some charities that take glasses. Um, I don't know if the lenses are any good to them, but maybe the frames would be because I'm sure not going to wear them um, with that skin issue. Like even if you changed it to my current prescription, they're just, yeah, it's kind of sad. Um, Cause like, you know, I did like them when I got them. I just didn't realize that issue. So um, that was one one lesson and now I know what to look for more in the nose pads but um yeah so charity or I don't know if you have a better idea of what to do with them um yeah anyway so I guess that's my glasses update and I wore the shirt just for this but I'm gonna film some other stuff so I'm gonna change it but yeah no now I can finally wear this on screen by the time you see this I will have done this afternoon's live stream and just to throw you all off I'm going to be wearing my old glasses until I put this video up because I'm I know it doesn't matter but I'm just like that <laughs> anyway patreon already has seen this um yeah I think that's all I really had to say about glasses and so I will shut up before I drag this on into a video that is longer than it needs to be that's my update on glasses. One more thing to say. Actually, I do have one more thing to say. If you're a glasses fetish person, keep it to yourself. I have, after I do updates on my glasses, I always get those kinds of people coming along. And like, look, I get it. You can't control what you're into, but don't bring me into it and don't be dishonest about it as well. That's the thing that annoys me the most is the dishonesty. Um, yeah. <laughs> don't ask me how strong are my glasses and then get upset when I call you out and then say oh I'm just practicing English when you're learning a different language the first thing you learn to say is not how strong are your glasses the first things you learn to say are um hi and my name is and I've had someone you know in a live stream mention also learning swear words those are the things you learn first it's not how strong are your glasses I wasn't born yesterday, I know what you're doing, stop trying to manipulate me, it's gross. And especially for those of you who somehow still think I'm underage, that's even more gross. So yeah, um, issues of consent and all that as well, um, don't try and manipulate me, don't try and exploit me. Uh, don't be a shit human being. Bye!